Yes. I'm ready. Nice. I'm gonna lick the car today. <laughs> <laughs> when done. Oh, that's good. I was trying to think of something clever to say, but you beat me to it. I couldn't have beat that anyway, so nice. Yep. Good. We're ready to go, Eric. Good we job. I say pain today. We're both exhausted in pain yes. today. Oh my gosh. We're sore after yesterday. All right. So, plan for today. Mostly done here. We're going to start right in on wet sanding. Uh, the cowl and the trunk. When Pops is done with the trunk and I'm done with the firewall area, then we'll do the seam sealer on those areas. Move on to wet sanding fenders, shell, and uh, continue the what? Ew, excuse me. Sorry, I had to sneeze there. Um, and the rest of the seam sealing that needs to be done here. Uh, well, everywhere, right? Because the car, we got to get the car and sealer today. So, so that's the plan. Start wet sanding. Yes. Yes. And thank you to Eric Wolf, I believe it was, um, who was talking about wet sanding. Uh, we did soak the paper yesterday, so it, it was soaked. We'll continue to do that. We didn't soak it enough, probably, but thank you. And uh, yeah, I do have a couple of spray bottles, so we'll get the spray bottles out for wetting down the surface instead of using a sponge. Thank you for the advice. Okay, as with anything else in these projects, you spend way more time masking than you do anything else. Uh, so I tried to do a good job getting ready here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the seam sealer on and uh, we're going to keep an eye on it because it dries pretty fast and once it's dry it's really hard to get the tape off so Pops is going to kind of follow me along here and if it's drying too fast he'll start peeling the tape off. If not, we'll hopefully get through everything and then peel it off. So this thing uses a special gun. It's got this mixing tip on it, All right? So I'm gonna squirt a little bit of this stuff out on a piece of paper, and then we're ready to go. I remember the last time I did this, it was really painful on the wrist. And I was thinking, oh, it'll be better this time because it won't be so cold when we're doing it. Uh, it's warmer. Uh, it's not, well, it's 62 in here right now, so this is probably gonna be painful. Oozing. So you can take your finger and spread that stuff around. Keep it thick. Yeah. It's more in that corner there. I'm trying to keep it fairly thick. There you go. I spilled a little bit there if you can wipe that off. And in 
inside the edge there. And get your finger in there. Under here. Let's see. Oh, this hurts. Am I putting on about the right amount or any more or less? scoop it back towards that corner because there's a bunch of weld holes and stuff there. Go back and check the beginning and see if it's still nice and soft or if we have to start peeling the tape off. I think this stuff has about a 15 minute working time, so we're probably okay. I just put it soft. Okay, good. I'll just keep going around then. Thought my wrist hurt before. Mm -hmm. That was nothing. This is going to be murder here. Try and keep it out of that drill hole there if you can. See it? Yeah. Okay, I got to run to the other side here without dripping everywhere. So. Try and get it to the edge of the tape if you can to smooth it all out nice and flat. So when you peel it off, it'll look nice. Okay, I'm scooping. I gotta come through here. Watch out. Who the other side? I'll cut this off for now. Alright, so after having done that, I would not do that again. Um, that stuff is so sticky and nightmarish. Um, and really hard to get off, get the tape off rather. So we ended up getting goop everywhere. Uh, I see all this stuff. So we got to clean all that up. Um, and then by the time we went to peel it back, you know, it started peeling up with the t uh, tape, right? So you end up with all these little edges everywhere. It's not terrible. I mean, it looks okay. Um, it's not as nice as I would have liked, but so I think for the rest of this stuff, we're going to use the brushable seam sealer. I think we'll get a better result uh, than this stuff. So, yeah, uh, it's okay. I think it'll look all right when it's painted, but it's not, not as nice as I would have liked, but that's okay. Moving on. 
All right, we have a slight change of plans here since it's getting late in the day. It's already 1.30. Um, we're probably not gonna have time to wet sand the whole car today. So we're just gonna, wherever the paint is, we're gonna go about a foot from there and wet sand that um, and seal it. And then uh, later on when we go to the rest of the car, we, can, we have to sand it back anyway because of the overspray. And as long as we have enough sealer there, then we can mask it off so that the sealer doesn't get up to where the paint is. Um, this is the only tricky part right here because the front of the car we got hard edges everywhere basically So it'll be pretty straightforward. So we're gonna sand it back to here or so um, And I remember we're just painting up this jam here. So we'll get a little bit of overspray on this, but it'll be sealed uh, This is all ready to go for seam sealer here. I'm gonna use the brushable stuff as I said because that other stuff is a nightmare um, As Pop said, it's a really pretty color when it's dry It's a really nice blue as well I'll be covered up, but all right, another brushable. All right, there's the brushable. That's the Evercoat brushable seam sealer. So I'll let that cure up a little while. And we came along here and just smoothed it out with the fingers, trying to make it look somewhat reasonable. See what it looks like when the tape comes off. Oops, I missed a spot. Missed two spots. Now get back to work. So that was a bit of a mess when we took that stuff off. Um, this didn't come out as nice as I wanted, but I saw the trick on uh, Eastwood's videos where they take the pre-printing prep and spray it on here and then you can smooth this stuff down. It worked pretty well. Um, you know, it kind of looked like this before and it looks like that now, so it's good. I like it. I think everything's set here now. This is a little sloppy here, but it's covered by the plate anyway, so that's fine. So this is all done. All right, so Pops is back here wet sanding. So the two quarters are done here, and now we're just gonna do this back panel, and that's it. That's all we're gonna wet sand. And the fenders, gotta do the fenders still. But that's it, as soon as we're done with that, ready to mask up and paint. We're rolling. All right. All right, we're ready to go. Um, it's much later than we want it to be. At six o'clock, it's 63 in here. It's like 59 outside, so our time's running out here. But it's ready to go, so I'm gonna stop yapping and get mixing up some sealer. Yeah, the tech sheet calls for uh, 1.3 tip and 19 to 22 pounds. I'm gonna do, or 23 pounds, I'm gonna do about 22. set this at two and a half turns out like I always do. We'll see what the fan looks like. I'd say that looks pretty good. Going for about a medium wet coat here. I went on a little light.
year and a half of red hair. Well, it's kind of odd. I thought this white powder in it or something. That would be weird. So we didn't look at it later.
just about out of seal. We're going to see if we can get the back done. Alright, so we did overall pretty good. There's a little bit of trash in it. We forgot to wet down the floor. So Pops just did that. The fenders and stuff, you can see a little bit of trash and stuff in there. And what I was talking about on the tape over here, it's got some fish eyes or something in it. I don't know if you can see those. Don't know what happened over there, but we're going to reset that later anyway, so that's okay. So we're just about ready to put on some red.